right, we're back with our Today Table Series. There's nothing we love more than just something simple, something easy, something we can all do. It doesn't get much easier than this one. That's, That's right. cooking the entire dinner you're going to eat tonight in just one pan. This is Kevin Curry, author and founder of Fit Men Cook. He's here with this great go-to sheet pan, one of your favorites, I know. And by the way, if you want to do this tonight, you can shop all the ingredients by scanning the QR code that is on your screen. You're also going to get 10 bucks off your first Three online pickup delivery orders of $50 or more. That's from our sponsor, Walmart. You can use the code TODAY10. Chef, good morning. Good to good see morning. you. Good morning. How you doing? You got the gloves on. We're going yes, to get into the straw chicken gonna breast here. It. So we're going to um, first slice it to create a pocket. Now, don't go all the way through. So you're going to be very careful. So start with the thickest end. Yep. And then just go right here. And I like to go almost about three quarters of the way through. So that way it creates a nice so You're going to stuff pocket. this chicken breast and stuff it's it. just that simple. Create the yeah. pocket first. Absolutely. So you're going to put in some mozzarella. You can also put in some cashew cheese if you're trying to be like dairy free. And then with the basil, I like to tear the basil because when you tear it, it actually will retain much more of the flavor and it won't wilt so quickly. First of all, so. I already love the idea of mozzarella cheese inside oh, a chicken breast. Because right. I'm a dark meat. I like ch chicken thighs. I know. Yeah. I, know. Put, I was going to say, Uncle Al you has that. You could do a boneless chicken thigh. Well, yeah, but it's not thick enough to actually stuff. But you don't need to stuff a you chicken thigh. You've got to stuff the breast. Yeah, I guess you do. Well, now you have a new recipe. Okay. It's good? This is very good. Yeah. So what did you, you just put in the so, basil and the cheese. Yep, and now we're going to season it, it up. Okay. And we're going to use oil as a binder, so mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil. And then we got some onion powder, some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then you can just use your favorite, like, dried herb. And it could be, and this is some thyme, but it can be, a, you know, oregano. Mm -hmm. It could be some. Italian seasonings, whatever yep. you got. Salt, pepper, boom. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this. It's got to be seasoned because you don't want that. It's very flavorful. Yeah. yeah. Even then, for a breast. It does. Over here, no, chicken breast is really lean, so it cooks really quickly. So you want to pick vegetables for your sheet pan that are going to do that too. So cauliflower is a great one okay, to use. Right. They're going to, and it's cheaper to buy the whole head and just do it yourself with the, yeah. with the florette. So do this. Boom. Easy. And then we're going to add. And by the way, I know potatoes. you love this because it's just versatile. Like whatever whatever versatile. your jam is, veggie wise, you can do. You can put broccoli in there. Also stuff that squash. thing. You don't have to use the cheese, like you said, if dairy issues, whatever. You can Absolutely. Do. It's okay. very versatile that way. And then potatoes, um, because they take a little bit longer, be sure that you cube these. So these have to be cut in smaller pieces, just like this. Oh, wow. So it looks just like this. And then sheet pan. This is what I like to do. Don't use another bowl. Just put everything here in the sheet pan. Mm -hmm. Boom. So those potatoes will cook at the same time this Absolutely, is done. Absolutely, oh, wow. because they're smaller, mm -hmm. because they're smaller pieces. That's a pro. Okay, That's so olive oil. Let mm -hmm. me take this off. Then we've got some olive oil. Will uh -huh. you put that sage on there for me? You got it. I got you. Thank you. Sage. Mix that together. Okay. Yes, yeah, some sage on there. I like oh, that. Fancy oh, yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mix that together. Boom. And then you're going to create. Oh, hey, uh, there we go. That's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. Here, get into it. TLC, you got to cook exactly. with love. <laughs> you got to care. You can't just throw this thing together. Absolutely. You're making a little room for the chicken breast. breast. And then we're going to take yep. our tongs right. and then put this right here on top. This is okay. perfect. This is, you're yeah, right, this is a doable dinner for tonight. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Absolutely. And yeah. even if you can't cook, don't prove me wrong out there. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really easy recipe no, to do. You can do it for a crab, too, which is Absolutely. Great. I think I could do and this, yeah. really big this is like, So this is like two servings yeah. in your plate already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so how, long, how long are you going to bake that? For 20 minutes, around uh, at 420. Um, just make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. Now, the bar, now the bigger this is, you're going to want to make sure it's cooked all the way through, right? Would you say so I like to. For how long? 20, 20 minutes. Um, about 20 minutes. It's on the website. Minutes. I know. Look at me. I'm all it's on the website. Website. I got a question. Yeah. Yes. If I use a thermometer to check this meat, you want chicken at what, 160 or whatever? 165. Yeah. 165. When I put the meat thermometer in the center, I'm hitting like the cheese, right? Because it's... No, if you my... put it in this thick part right here. But remember, because you slice it, it's going to cook a little bit faster because it's like two yeah. layers yeah. now. It's okay. almost kind of like butterflying the chicken. And you can also prep this in the morning. Prep if you have it in people the over time. and then just do oh. this. You're 20 minutes away. This is also a great grilling recipe, too. So you get the smoky flavor of that. Oh. Grilling out. Oh. All right, Uncle, I that. hope you don't have a bite in your mouth. You got birthday. Hey. I'm good. <laughs> uh, Kevin, back, by the way, I want to mention quickly in the next hour, QR code, today.com slash table. We should mention we earn a small commission purchases through the links of today.com. Yeah.